Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is for those who are new to the FPV world and see all these videos on YouTube that say, hey, learn to capture that cinematic footage and you see the drone flying along the coast of the water and you're like, wow, I want to do that too. And you keep watching the video, keep watching the video and they're just telling you how to fly. But the trick is to fly like this is actually in the settings. And I'm not sure if you've seen my other videos, I'm still working on it, but I managed to figure out some settings um, for the uh, Betaflight FPV where things run a little bit smoother and you know i haven't gotten that cinematic footage yet but check it out look this is like come learn to um to fly cinematically with your fpv drone and then all of a sudden you know turns into something like this you're like what like what am i doing you're like oh no it's like i thought i could fly um but you know a lot of the videos don't sh show you the settings and then you wind up having a flight like this um so uh without any further ado let's get started all right, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is launch Betaflight. Most likely you will have already had flown your drone or know how to connect to Betaflight if you've gotten this far. Okay, so we're going to connect. And what we're going to do is we're going to back up, right, the current settings. So we're going to go into um, right here. See? And then you're going to type in D-U-M dump all okay and then you're going to press enter and it's going to dump everything all right and once it does what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over a little bit save to file okay because you might not like these settings you may like i don't know what that guy is talking about I, I'm just, I need to go back and the only way to go back is to have had save the setting somewhere so for me I'm gonna save it to the desktop because there's nothing else on there but you guys save it to wherever you're gonna go okay and to know if this works let's say for example remember I'm using a different software so you make sure you're running the latest version of Betaflight okay as you can see right there in the corner it's 4.4.1 4 um, so dumping all might work for you but I'd also recommend taking a screenshot only for the sake of, uh, I don't know if you've seen some of the other videos where um, Betaflight is just, you know, is not as fluid as everyone thinks it is, right? So you could just take a screenshot, right? Whatever that function key is. Um, I think it's Command Shift and then like Command Shift 4. And then you just drag it over. Oh, this is on the Mac. We, you can figure it out from Windows. And then by default, for me, it'll save on the desktop, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, there it is right there. See that? And then now I'm going to go back into beta flight again. And then, um, how do I know if this will work? I can show you how it will work. Okay. So let's say I'm going to go into the PID tuning and I'm just going to change one thing. Okay. So I'm going to change the scale from 65 to 40. Remember it was 65. I'm going to, and then I'm going to save it. Okay. Um, just click ignore or just free up. Why not? Uh, no, I can't quit that. All right. Anyway, so now I'm going to disconnect it. Okay. And then we're going to launch it again, connect. And then I'm going to back into T P I D tuning. Right. And I went there. Remember it was 65 and it's 40. And like, what if you're like, ah, oh, that freaking guy from YouTube, damn you. That's okay. Um, what you'll do is you'll go back to here, see, you know, right there, CLI, and then you're going to go load from file. This is if you don't like, you know, the experience you're getting, and then you're going to click, um, open. Okay. And then I'm going to select execute and everything should just run and happen magically. And so when I go and connect again, right, everything should be the way it was um you know before uh before we did a dump all okay and this video and this video was actually um came to me because uh life a bike commented and he suggested like you know instead of screenshotting just have them dump all and i, I want to thank you life a bike um for uh suggesting that because um this will actually help other fpb pilots who are new to um, capture that cinematic footage. Okay, so now that it's there, 
hopefully, right, um, that I dumped everything, I'm going to connect, it should be back to 65. So I'm going to go to PID tuning. If it's not, then forget about it. There it is. It's back to 65. See that? So that's perfect. All right. So now we know the dump all works, but that's on my machine. So I'd recommend if you're, you know, if you're not sure, do the screenshot, do both. Okay. Um, cause worst case scenario, you'll just have to copy the settings. All right. So here we go. The PID tuning scale. Okay. The throttle limit will be at scale. Uh, throttle limit will be 65. Okay. Throttle MD mid will be 0 0.25. Throttle expo will be 0 0.62. Okay. And then you have your PID settings. So for this, it's going to be a little further down, right? All right, and you have your um, throttle motor settings. Make sure that this is correct right there. But what's, what's important is this right here, the TPA mode. See that? You have 0 0.68 and then 1,350. Hey, what just happened? I'm just going to do it again so that you guys can get it, okay? So we're going to launch beta flight again. Hopefully the settings saved. I'm going to click connect. You're going to go to PID. Okay, and when you're at PID ID, PID, you're going to scroll down a little bit, keep scrolling, see where it says TPA mode, right? Um, TPA rate, 0 0.65, I mean 68, sorry, I put, I put 0 0.68, TPA breakpoint, 1350, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll back up again, right? And then go to rate profile settings. And then for throttle limit, okay? Because I noticed that the throttle was just too extreme. It was just going like more than I could handle. It had a lot of torque, full throttle, which is great, but not good for someone like me in the beginning, right? All right, so that's going to be scale. Throttle limit, I think before is at 100. I lowered a little bit. 65 is pretty good. You got to throw it up a notch, but that's okay. Um, so put 65 and then throttle mid. 0 0.25 right and throttle expo is 0 0.62 so i changed these settings to that and then you know hope and then i and then i hit save of course right um and now let's see how this flies i am actually able to hover and this brings it to a whole new level because i could not hover before I was like, how the hell do you hover with this thing? And I guarantee you with these settings, you'll be able to hover too, and probably even better than me. Um, I just need to, you know, put some more time in the simulator. All right, so let's move over and see how this thing actually flies now. Just being able to stay in one spot, look at that. And the only way you could do this before is if you had the Avada. Look at that. That's with these settings. It sort of slows everything down. Whoops. It sort of slows everything down. You know, I'll get there, but it's such a game changer that um, it just makes flying so much easier. And as you can see, I was able to hover. I'm gonna see if I could fly this thing to the stairs, right? Apparently it's supposed to be a better experience. I just wish the motion controller actually worked on this thing. That would be another game changer. All right, temperature is 124, which is great. Remember when it gets to 160 something, we are done. Let's see if I can move forward. No, whoops. So let's see if I can hover. I'm gonna go up, stay in one particular spot. See that? And everything happens much more smoothly, which is great. And I'm gonna see I can fly whoops up ah uh, well one day I'll make it up the stairs but that's better than what I've done before which is great um so on that note let me go back to the baby abada still ah, the drone is still in its uh baby abada so that's pretty good um so if you've seen my flying before you know that this is actually better um, than before. So much better that I'm tempted to do it again. And that's pretty much it.
I hope that this video helped you and you're better able to transpose these settings into your flying skills and have them work better for your Pavo Pico so that you're not flying like this or for any other FPV drone that you're using um, so that basically this doesn't happen because things just tend to go a little bit faster. But now that things are slowed down, you're going to have a more streamlined experience. So let us know how it goes. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.